If you've ever run a sawmill before, you know you end up with a lot of wood waste, like this big pile of sawdust. Then, of course, the edge slabs. For all the end cuts and pieces of log that have bugs or something in them, so it doesn't make good lumber. And when dealing with bug killed fir and pine, the bark flakes off, peels off, and I end up with these big, big piles of bark. What's a person supposed to do with all this stuff? Well, very little of it gets wasted because I put it to good use. Most of it, anyway. Stick around, I'll show you what I do with it all. My favorite part is the sawdust and the bark. I like to mix the two, a little bit of sawdust, a little bit of bark. With all these big pieces here that are fresh off the logs, I let them dry. When they dry, they get really brittle. Then I run over them a few times with a truck or roll logs on them, and then they just break into these smaller pieces like these. And this is what I want. Now that we're loaded, I'll show you what I do with it. I find this combination of sawdust and bark makes excellent garden mulch. Well, there's a lot of controversy about using sawdust or bark or wood chips in the garden for mulch because people say that it robs nitrogen from the soil. Does any of this look like it's lacking nitrogen? My whole garden is covered in wood chips, sawdust, bark, Things are doing quite well with this mulch. My raspberries, that's what those are. They have become an absolute jungle. Got a few of them starting to get ripe. Artichokes are very happy. Got some little ones coming on. Strawberries are producing well. All in wood chips, bark, and sawdust. We've got kale, garlic, lettuce, grapes, potatoes, cilantro going to seed. Look at this raspberry jungle. They're all growing up through bark and sawdust. Here's the other side of it. This is the bark and the sawdust is probably about a foot deep. 
I used to use wood chips from a tree service for mulch, but since I started running the sawmill a lot, I have all this bark and sawdust, and I find it works even better at holding in moisture. It keeps the weeds down. I'd have to do very little weeding. In the summer, we have a very hot, dry climate. It's usually in the 90s and even in the hundreds during the summer here. We can go from June through sometimes September. Some years we'll have, hardly have a drop of rain that whole time. With the thick wood mulch, I have to do very little watering all summer long because it holds in moisture so well. Well, that's what I do with the sawdust and the bark. Now I'll show you what I do with the rest. I like these debarked slabs. I use that to make my own firewood. That ends up looking like a lot of pieces like this. They actually burn longer than I thought they ever would. I have a very efficient wood stove. I like burning it without the bark. The bark has a lot of the minerals and nutrients in it. I'd rather put those on the garden. But the main reason is the bark is where a lot of the ash comes from. So when I burn this, this is dug fir here. Dug fir is a soft wood. It actually burns very well, puts out a lot of heat. But dug fir without bark produces very little ash, so I don't have to clean out my stove as much. Now these big rounds, I'll just run them through the splitter. I'll probably end up selling most of them because it's more wood than I can burn. It's not a big money maker, but it's mostly a way to get rid of it. This year I've been producing more slabs than what I can burn. I've given quite a bit of to my neighbors so they can make firewood out of it. If they're infested with bark beetles, they end up right here. Those ones do get burned up because I don't want the bark beetles to spread to the other trees. This load of slabs I loaded up this morning. This is going to a guy in town who uses them to build garden beds. It's an easy haul for me. It's on the way to where I'm going to be going anyway. I charge him $50 for the whole load. It's I don't really make money on it when I consider my time and fuel, but it's a way to get rid of them and somebody can get some use out of them. I think that's about it. Look at this big mountain of sawdust. It's going to make some great garden mulch. If you want to hear more about the garden, let me know in the comments. I can go into more depth on that. Check this out over here. The moon's coming up over the trees. Doesn't look as good on camera as it does in real life, but this is a good place to end the video. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a like. See you on the next video.